precision medicine, AI, and big data. So, just as every field has been disrupted by AI and big data, healthcare is no different. There's a lot of different ways in which it impacts healthcare, but let's talk a little bit about precision uh, medicine. I recently read a feature article that National Geographic from January of this year, and I want to add some additional thoughts to it. So they gave a couple of examples of targeting this specific uh, DNA uh, mapped uh, mutations from a cancer and then finding specific individualized uh, medicines uh, and therapies that uh, would naturally aid the immune system uh, in fighting the disease and then growing those individualized therapies and injecting them into the patient uh, and uh, not helping to, um, in some cases, uh, obviously definitely not at all, uh, reducing or eliminating the cancer. So there's a host of ways in which precision medicine and this type of um, uh, big data analysis uh, could take place. And the article mentions some of that. I want to give a few more thoughts. So while you're sleeping, your your um, uh, sheets and pillowcases could be collecting data on you um, that analyzes uh, your brain waves and your sleeping patterns. Um, when you wake up, your toilets can be analyzing your stool and your urine. Um, your your refrigerator will track uh, your food and also uh, tell you how uh, healthy and uh, fresh it is at the at the moment. Um, your smartphone can analyze your moods. I've talked a lot about effective uh, computing, and I would refer to that also. Um, it can also alert you to uh, potential uh, medical and uh, uh, mental health issues as well. Um, in your car, uh, it could alert you to environmental conditions such as pollution, and uh, it could also uh, analyze your breath uh, in terms of uh, health factors as well. Um, when you exercise, your uh, sensors like Fitbits and things like that uh, could track your um, uh, your vital signs, um, your detection to environmental factors, including ultraviolet light. Um, contact lenses in your body uh, could monitor, uh, this is for National Geographic, most of these are, uh, your glucose levels, uh, cardiac activity, nitrogen, oxygen levels. And then there's um, other things that can be done in the lab, obviously. So what I wanted to say about precision medicine is that we are always going from the diffuse to the particular and uh, human beings share 99% of the same uh, DNA sequencing but there's apparently about 500 million uh, already classified differences so it's amazing how one small difference uh, can make such a huge impact at times. Sometimes the, the differences are meaningless, but sometimes they're impactful. And uh, this is gonna get into a whole uh, set of ethical choices in terms of uh, uh, working with genes and altering them, uh, designing uh, you know, desired outcomes and the like.